let us see how do we determine the nth term from the n of an arithmetic sequence so nth term in the reverse order in an arithmetic sequence so if we have an arithmetic sequence a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on till am this is our last term in the sequence we say that there are n terms in the sequence and the nth term becomes the last term sorry and this is the first term of the sequence if we have to find fourth term from the end fourth term from the end basically fourth term in this direction okay now there are two ways to find the fourth term from the end if there are total n terms then the fourth term from the end the position of this fourth term can be given as there are total n terms so n minus 4 plus 1 so it will be n minus third term okay we will have a of n minus 1 a of n minus 2 and a of n minus 3 if we go in the reverse order correct so the fourth term from the end is basically n minus 3th term from the beginning correct so to find the fourth term from the end we can find a of n minus 3 okay so this is one way of finding the fourth term from the end now let us see one more way in which we can solve this problem so suppose we have a sequence a1 a2 a3 and so on and we have the last term as an we have to find the fourth term from the end so this is an minus 1 the term previous to the nth term the term previous to n minus 1th term and the term previous to n minus 2th term and so on now when we go the in the sequence in the forward direction we always add the common difference correct so when we go in the reverse direction so to get the n minus 1th term from a n term we will have to subtract the common difference if we go in the reverse order the same common difference has to be subtracted correct a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 and so on and the last term as a1 we have changed the direction of the sequence now our first term becomes a n and the last term is a1 and now the common difference will change from plus t to minus t i just explained it here if we move in this direction to get the next term we are always adding a t and if we move in the reverse direction to get the previous term we are subtracting a d so we say that the common difference here is negative t and the first term is nothing but a n here okay now what do we want we want the fourth term from the n so let me represent this a n as say capital a1 so capital a1 capital a2 capital a3 and so on and capital a n so basically is the first term of the reverse sequence the n minus 1th is the second term the n minus 2th is the third term and so we are basically interested in finding this a4 so let us apply the formula a4 is equal to a1 plus 1 less than 4 times t a1 in this case is nothing but an we will have the value of an so we can put an plus 4 minus 1 is basically 3 and the d will be negative of whatever d we have got here so in this case r d is capital d is negative of t so let me write a capital d here 
So it can be written as a n plus 4 minus 1 is 3 times negative t. We can use any of the ways to find the nth term from the n. Let us solve an example. Find the 11th term from the last term of the arithmetic sequence 10, 7, 4 and so on till negative 62. I will solve this question by both the ways. We have to find 11th term from the n. So term from the n will be dash term from the beginning. We have to first figure out which term is it from the beginning. Okay. So for that we have to figure out how many total terms are there. So our last term is a n which is negative 62. So we can write a1 plus n minus 1 times t which is a n is negative 62. What is a1 here? a1 is 10. And what is d here? a2 minus a1 which is 7 minus 10 which is negative 3. Correct? So we can substitute that value. We will get 10 plus n minus 1 times negative 3 is equal to negative 62. So let's distribute negative 3. So 10 minus 3n plus 3 is equal to negative 62 or 13 plus 62 is equal to 3n. Correct? This implies 3n is equal to 75 or n is equal to 25. So there are total how many terms here? There are total 25 terms. Okay. So there are total 25 terms in the sequence. Now 11th term from n. will be 25 minus 11 plus 1 nth term from beginning. Okay and this gives us 26 minus 11 which gives you the 15th term from the beginning. So 11th term from the end is the 15th term from the beginning and hence we can find out a 15 as a1 plus 14d which is equal to 10 plus 14 times d is negative 3 which gives you 10 minus 42 which gives you a negative 32. So the 11th term from the end or in the reverse direction is negative 32. Let us see the other way. Let us write down the sequence again. It is 10, 7, 4 and so on and negative 62. Now, if I write this sequence in the reverse order, it still remains an arithmetic sequence, correct? So now I write the sequence as negative 62 and so on. Then I'll have 4, then I'll have 7 and I'll have 10. Now, what is the common difference here? Common difference is 7 minus 4, which is 3 or maybe 10 minus 7, which is 3. And what was the common difference here? It was negative 3. So when we change the direction of the sequence, the common difference changes in the sign. So for the new sequence, for this sequence, we have D as 3. Let me write this as capital D for the new sequence. So for the new sequence, capital D is 3. What is our n for the new sequence? We want the 11th term. Now we will not say 11th term from the end because we have changed the direction of the sequence. So we need 11th term from the beginning. And the first term a1 is negative 62 which is the last term of the original sequence. Since we have changed the order negative 62 becomes the first term. So a11 can be given as a1 plus 1 less than 11 times d which gives you a negative 62 plus 11 minus 1 times 3, which gives you negative 62 plus 30, which is negative 32. So the 11th term from the beginning in the reverse sequence is negative 32, which is same as 11th term from the end of the given sequence. So you can use any of the two ways to find the nth term of the sequence from the end in the reverse order. If you have any doubts regarding 
these questions you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com this is my youtube channel math academy if you have liked my videos please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you